Okay, guys, let's go through a rundown here. These are not toys. So pay attention and, and make sure you've got of understanding what you're doing. Because this will bite you. This will knock you on your ass if you're not careful. Let's get that clear. All right. Power module. Copy these numbers. They're crystal clear. Took me a long time to find this out. To find these parts, okay? Amazon. Punch it in Google at first. Amazon, eBay, wherever you want. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, I'm going to put a link to some of these if I can for you guys in the video. <clears throat> Power module 3, 6, 9 volts, 12 volts. I believe this is 2 amps. They even have them higher, so you can do whatever you want. This is, if you look at this, this is a Don Smith. This is this is the power module that he was using, or similar to it. I'm, it's not the same, because he had, he had access to stuff we couldn't get back then. Okay, it comes out. This replaced the neon sign transform all the blown. This works on DC too, so it's even better. Comes out two capacitors. I think these are twenty thousand or ten thousand a piece pico ferret. I forget. Homemade spark app. I can adjust this. You can hear the difference from last night. I turned it. I got it closer. I put this all in parts and I put it together. I had to remember how to do it before my schematics I had that I made. Anyhow, that's that. I have spark apps, you all types of spark apps you can use off the counter until you find what you're looking for, okay? These are spark apps too, they're not diodes, they're 250 volt spark apps. Uh, or gas discharge tubes, as they call them. Oh, you, fi you figure out what you want to figure out. There's a test, there's a site that do Tesla coils that do L1 and L2. Cleveland, Australia, my buddy, he, uh, he was doing all the, we were doing all different coils. We were trying to figure all different ones out. Okay. Neon bulbs, very important. Uh, I think these are 20,000 a piece. So the neons are very important. They're, they, they, they're, they have like an exciter from an old uh, generators. We didn't have, all, they didn't have alternators a long time. They had generator. And these actually help tune the circuit. They're like little miniature spark gaps. They're actually very important. It won't function right without it. In fact, I don't think it will function without it, honestly. This is a lot of stuff. This is all Tesla stuff, believe me, when I say this. It's all belongs to Tesla. Even this, this is actually Tesla's, okay? So another thing, be very important. Do not touch these two ends when this is on. And then, and if you put it, use a gas discharge tube, they will get hot as hell because of the frequencies in it. But this will bite you. This will, knock you, this will get your attention, knock you on your ass more than likely. Uh, that's about the size of it. I earth ground it. You don't have to earth ground it. it it'll, it'll function without the earth ground. Have fun. Experiment. But be careful. Educate yourself on stuff. Be very careful when you work with stuff. Learn what you're doing. You have a great day. And I hope you enjoy having fun building stuff.